Good morning, students. Uh, yesterday, we we'll discussed about the uh, neutralization reaction and the <coughs> speak solution in water conduct electricity, or uh, basic solution in water conduct electricity. You know very well. Now, today, the class very most important. Every each and every student. I request all classes, all activities. First of all, every class write down in your notebook. Every class activities neatly we note down in every class. Now we discuss about in this table very very most important. Some missing uh, table are given in the examination. Some columns missing. And uh, fill in the exam the questions asked uh, some uh, uh, columns are uh, uh, empty. The table can fill uh, in the examination. Now, so the solution, the given solution, acids, acidic, base are neutral. We can identify some indicators can be used. Some indicators can be used. So these are indicators are first one red litmus paper, red litmus paper, blue litmus paper, phenolphthalein solution, phenolphthalein indicator, and methyl orange indicator. These four indicators can be used. The given solution is acidic, base, or neutral. We can decide. So very very most important table. So so yes, the acid base or neutral. First of all, some samples are taken. So, in laboratory, uh, unknown samples are given. Unknown, uh, unknown samples are given. We can uh, find out acid, base, or neutral. We can use some indicators. We decide the solution is acidic, base, or neutral. First of all, sample solution is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Unknown solution are given. So we can test the uh, solution with uh, the red litmus paper. Red litmus paper. So the red litmus paper color does not change. No change. Red litmus paper. The color of red litmus paper does not change. So we can test with the uh, blue litmus paper. So the given solution turn uh, blue litmus paper into red. The given solution turn blue blue litmus paper into red. So phenolphthalein solution. We can test the given solution. Phenolphthalein solution. The phenolphthalein solution in the given solution is colorless, colorless, colorless. And uh, the given solution test with the methyl orange solution. Methyl orange solution. So we can identify the color of methyl orange solution. Methyl orange indicator. In the given solution is red, so hence so the given solution is acid. The given solution is acid. And another sample, hydro sulfuric acid H2SO4. 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 We can test with the red litmus paper. The color does not change. No change. No change. But the given solution test with the Blue litmus paper, blue litmus paper turns red color. So, and uh, the given solution test with the uh, phenolphthalein solution, phenolphthalein solution, the observation, the colorless solution can be found, the colorless solution can be found, and the given solution test with the uh, methyl orange solution, methyl orange solution, the given solution turn methyl orange indicator into red color, and so the given solution is uh, acid. And another sample, nitric acid HNO3. HNO3. This sample test with red litmus paper, no change. And this sample test with blue litmus paper, turns red. And this sample test with phenolphthalein solution. The observation, a colorless solution can be found. This solution test with methyl orange indicator. The methyl orange indicator in the given sample turns red color. Hence, the given solution sample is acid. And another sample, 
एसिक एसिड CH3COOH CH3COOH सॉल्यूशन सो टेस्ट भी तो रेटेड मस पेपर रेटेड मस पेपर नो चेंज द गिवन सॉल्यूशन टेस्ट भी तो रेटेड मस पेपर द रेटेड मस पेपर डज नॉट चेंज द कलर एंड द गिवन सॉल्यूशन टेस्ट भी तो ब्लू रेटेड मस पेपर द गिवन सॉल्यूशन टर्न्स ब्लू रेटेड मस इनटू रेड कलर द गिवन सॉल्यूशन टेस्ट भी तो फेन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन द गिवन सॉल्यूशन uh react the given solution cannot to form the uh the given solution can be formed the colorless solution in the fine optical solution fine optical indicator the given solution test with the methylene indicator the methylene indicator turns red color hence the given sample is acid the given sample is acid and the another sample take sodium hydroxide naoh naoh sodium hydroxide the given sample test with the blue red mass red red mass paper the given sample test with the red red mass paper red red mass paper turns blue and the given sample test with the blue red mass paper no change blue change the given solution the given sample test with the fine optical solution the fine optical solution turns pink color the fine optical turns pink color the given sample test with the methylene indicator the given sample turns yellow color hence the given sample is base and another sample koh potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide sample test with the red red mass paper red red mass paper the red red mass paper turns blue color and the given sample test with the blue red mass paper blue red mass paper turns no change the color does not change and the given sample koh koh test with the fine optical solution fine optical solution the given sample uh, fine optical solution uh, turns to pink color pink color and the given sample test with the methylene indicator the methylene indicator turns to yellow color hence the given sample is base and uh, another sample magnesium hydroxide mgoh twice magnesium hydroxide so the sample test with the red red mass paper turns to blue color the given solution uh, test with the red red mass paper red red mass paper turns to blue color and the magnesium hydroxide sample test with the blue red mass paper the blue red mass paper does not change hence the given sample test with the fine optical solution the fine optical solution turns to pink color fine optical solution turns to pink color and uh, the given sample test with the methylene solution the methylene solution turns to yellow color hence the given sample is uh, base and another sample so magnesium so ammonium hydroxide nh4oh ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide sample test with the red red mass paper red red mass paper turns blue color make so well ammonium hydroxide test with the red red mass paper red red mass paper red red mass paper turns blue color and uh, the sample ammonium hydroxide test with the blue red mass paper the blue red mass paper turns uh, does not change color and uh, ammonium hydroxide sample test with the fine optical solution the fine optical solution turns to pink color and uh, the given sample test with the methylene solution the methylene solution turns to yellow color hence the given sample is uh, base and another sample of calcium hydroxide caoh5 so caoh5 the given sample test with the red red mass paper the red red mass paper turns blue color and uh, the given sample test with the blue red mass paper the color does not change the given sample caoh phase test with the fine optical solution fine optical solution turns to pink color and uh, the given sample test with the methylene solution the methylene solution turns with the yellow color hence the given sample is uh, base in the above table we can conclude some like uh, hcl hydrochloric acid sulfuric acid nitric acid acetic acid these are acids acids turn blue in mass paper into red color acids turn blue in mass paper turns into red color 
and the residue paper does not change and the phenol solution does not the colorless solution can be formed and hcl hcs4 hno3 c3coh are test with major an indicator hence so these are can be formed consist of red color hence these are called acids and naoh koh mgoh phase nh4oh coh phase these samples are test with resin paper red litmus paper these Red litmus paper turns blue color, and uh, these samples test with uh, blue litmus paper, the color does not change, and uh, these samples uh, test with uh, phenol indicator. These are samples turns so uh, pink color, and so uh, basis the color of basic solution in phenol indicator is uh, pink color, and uh, hence these samples test with uh, methyl alcohol indicator, and uh, these samples can. Uh, change with the uh, yellow color hence these are called the uh, bases so these are the main important table every students can note down in your notebook